So, as we find there are different classes of men, although all of them are in Bombay or any city, similarly, all the living entities, they are not of the same quality. Some of them are in touch with the material modes of goodness, some of them are in touch with the material modes of passion, and some of them are in touch with the material modes of ignorance. So those who are in ignorance, uh, they are just like uh, fallen in the water. As the fire falls on the water, it extinguishes completely. Uh, uh, on the dry grass, the, if a spark of fire falls, taking advantage of the dry grass, the fire ignites, it becomes again fire. Uh, similarly, those who are in the modes of goodness, they can easily awaken their Krishna consciousness. Because in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Jesam Anto Gautam Papam. Why people are not coming to this temple? Because the difficulty is, some of them are in gross ignorance. Namang Duskiti Nam Murha Prabhadante Naradha. They cannot come. Those who are simply engaged in sinful activity. They cannot appreciate this Krishna consciousness. That is not possible. But it is a chance given to everyone. We are flattering. Uh, please come here. Please. This is our business. On behalf of Krishna, as Krishna comes personally to teach Bhagavad Gita and ask everyone, Sarva Dharma and Paritta Jamaane Kangu Sarva Our business is that. Uh, therefore, Krishna very much appreciates. No, oh, these people are doing on my behalf. I have got to uh, go there. They are taking my business. What we are taking business? We are simply asking people, please surrender to Krishna. Therefore, you are very dear. Uh, Krishna says, Natatasmat Manusesu Kasit Me Priyatitama. Our business is how to become. Recognized by Krishna. We don't, man, I mean, it's a bother whether one is converted or not in Krishna consciousness. Our duty is to flatter. That's all. My dear sir, please come here, see Krishna's deity, offer namaskar, take prasada and go. But people are not agreeing. Because, why? And this business cannot be taken up by persons who are full of sinful activities. Therefore Krishna says, Jesam anta gatam papam. One who has completely finished his sinful activities. Jesam anta gatam papam. Jananam punna karmana. Who can become free from sinful activities? One who is engaged always in pious activities. If you are engaged in pious activities always, where is the chance of committing sinful activities? Therefore, the most pious activity is to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. If you are engaged always, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, if your mind is always engaged in Krishna consciousness, then there is no accommodation for other things to come to your mind. This is the process of Krishna consciousness. As soon as we forget Krishna, Maya is there, immediately captured. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.